You know, I love using software to help me when I'm practicing saxophone. And one of my favorite tools is Band in the Box. Band in the Box, who'd have thought it? Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so Band in a Box. Well, you know, I use it all the time for making backing tracks, and that's exactly what it is. It's a program that you can use for making up backing tracks. So if you've used Jamie Abersold Playalongs, you'll know what I'm talking about. And that's a great thing to use if you're practicing jazz standards, or even if you're just working on your technique. The cool thing about Band in a Box as a program, though, is that you can actually tell it which things to play. So it's like having a band in your, in your practice room. And actually, it's pretty easy to use. Let me show you what I mean. Got to change my batteries in my keyboard. Got to love technology. Okay, is it working now? Hooray, it's connected. Okay, so let's have a look at the interface for Band in a Box. It's pretty straightforward. Here is the screen for Band in a Box, and you can see uh, there's basically a whole bunch of bars going across here. And what you can do is just type in the chord that you want. So this is a C blues, really, really easy. But if I wanted to stick in a different chord in there, um, like I don't know, a G chord there, I'll just type in G and it'll play me a G chord. So you can lay out the number of bars, you can tell it how many choruses you want, really, really easy. Up in here you can say how many choruses you want, we'll change it to two choruses, and uh, you can even tell the tempo. And then when you press play, it'll play it in a style. I'll show you what I mean. So you can see it following through the bars there. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, and that's in the standard jazz style, but what if you want to change the style? Well, the cool thing about Band in a Box is there's tons of styles pre-programmed in, and there's actually this thing called real styles, which are like uh, real sampled styles with sampled instruments in there. Sound fantastic. So you've got your swing and your jazz things in there, there's even Gypsy Dixieland styles, there's country styles, pop, rock, country, bluegrass. What about if we did something like, um, well, here we go, let's do like a funk. Uh, we'll do a, a jazz funk, and let's see what that sounds like. So very, very cool. Now one of the things I love about Band in the Box is you can just change your chords as you're going along. So let's say we want to, to fill out our 12-bar uh, blues arrangement a little bit and maybe go a little turn around here to get into our D minor. So now, and maybe we could stick a, an A minor 7, a D minor 7, and a G7 as another turn around to get us back in. So now, our arrangement's filled out. And it just automatically, on the fly, creates a backing that fits in with all of that. Really, really cool. So it's pretty cool. So there's lots of variety. Now here's the things that I really like about Band in a Box. First thing is, let's say you're working on a blues and you wanted to get better at it. Well, first of all, what you can do is you can choose it in the, get the style right, get the key right, but then you can gradually change the tempo to help you with your learning. So you could you could take a tune, for example, and slow it right down, and then gradually speed it up as your skills develop. You could also take it and change the key. So let's say you're working on a, a C blues, you're feeling pretty comfy, but you want to work on your, your B blues. You just literally go in one click, change it to a different key, and boom, off you go, start practicing in the new key. So I love that feature about it because it means that you can you know, change a piece of music to suit your ability and work on it at your own speed. Another thing that's so cool about Band in the Box is there's an amazing resource online of tunes, of jazz tunes. There's like hundreds and hundreds of tunes available that you can just download for free and then you can plug them into your Band in the Box. This, for example, is There'll Never Be Another You, classic jazz standard. And because there's such a huge community of people sharing Band in the Box files online, you can get easily get any pretty much any jazz standard that you want download it and get it playing on your machine in, you know, seconds really.
Now some of these backing tracks have also got the melody line on it which is great for learning. So let's say we wanted to learn that tune but we want to show that slow the tempo right down. We'll change the tempo all the way down to 100. And now we can practice it at a speed that we're comfortable with. Or let's say we had to change the key. We were need to play that tune in a different key. One click and we can change the key. We've got a backing track in our new key. So the other thing I really love about Band in a Box is that you can write your own tunes. So it's great to use as a compositional tool. So let's say I'm working on a set of changes or I've got an idea for a song. I can program those changes in really quickly into Band in a Box, choose a style, choose a tempo, and I can try things out. And it's a great way to, to write songs. We can sort of pre-hear them, you know, you can hear the whole band. So that makes writing music really, really easy. Now Band in a Box is a pretty amazing program. There's tons of stuff in there. It comes with a really thick manual. Tons of stuff I don't even know how to do yet, but there's whatever you want to do with it, it there's gonna be a way for you to do it. I know there's things in there too, like you can um, set it up so that it will play through a song and then each time it goes through the next chorus, it'll change the key or it'll change the tempo. So you can actually use it as a practice aid that way as well. But I think it's amazing. So it doesn't matter what style of music you're into, whether it's, you know, you're trying to learn how to improvise sort of jazz standards and swing or whether you're into pop music there's country music styles in there but even smooth jazz styles funk stuff ska styles blues styles there's all different sorts of band styles in band in a box It'll, it's a tool that you can use in any sort of setting i think it's amazing and as a saxophone player one of the things that we really struggle with is you know we spend a lot of time practicing by ourselves with band in a box i can practice with a band all the time and you know who has that luxury? I think it's amazing. So that's it, that's my favorite piece of software for saxophone players for practicing Band in a Box. I think it's amazing, check it out online. Do you use Band in a Box already? If so, let me know in a comment and let me know also what your favorite style is or your favorite thing that you like to use Band in a Box for. Or maybe you use a different piece of software. Let me know about that too because it's great for me to find out about other pieces of software and also things that I can explore and share with you guys. Hey, if this is your first time here, please do click subscribe so you'll find out about the new lessons I'm putting out each week. I'm always making new videos and I'm really trying to help you to develop your saxophone skills, learn something new and hopefully have a bit of fun. Keep practicing hard, I'll see you next time.